Hello everyone and welcome to another Connect Spider video. I recently had a comment on the animated maps that I use on our motorcycle videos. So in this video I am going to show you how I create those maps. The first thing we have to do is we have to get a screenshot of a map to use in Keynote to create this animation. So I use Apple Maps. You can use any map you want. Uh, Google Maps would work. I just find that uh, this one gives me the kind of scale that I'm after. Next thing we have to do is we have to adjust the map to get the zoom where you want it. As you probably know with maps, whether it be maps or Google Maps, as you vary the zoom, um, the level of detail regarding road names and towns varies. If there are details on the map that are missing when you take the screenshot, you can always put some labels on them later. So what we're going to do for this example is we're going to do a map from Fenlon Falls here to Bob Cajun over here, and we're going to follow this number eight road. Next step we have to do is we have to grab a screenshot of this. So I'm going to bring up the screenshot here. And we are going to do capturing a selected portion, which gives you this outline. And all you have to sort of do is just move this around to make sure that everything you've got is in the square there. You can adjust the sizes in the corners. Um, you want to make sure you give yourself lots of real estate here so you can, um, you've got lots of things to adjust um, when you get into Keynote later. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger, like so. And then I'm just going to capture this image and that will be saved. So from here on in, we go into Keynote. So we're going to hide maps and I'm going to bring up Keynote. So this is the way Keynote comes up originally. Um, you want to make sure you're set to wide 16 by nine and you're going to bring up a presentation. So we're going to double click on that. And again, we want to make this window quite a bit bigger. And I find that setting the zoom to 75% works very well because that way you can see the full outline of the slide that you're working with on the screen. Get rid of all of these things that are preset with Keynote. Then we are going to go to the media and we're going to press choose. So now we, it takes us to the location that we saved our screenshot to right there. And we're going to insert it. So now we have our screenshot um, superimposed on the screen. We have our town of the, that we're starting here, Fenland finishing at Bob Cajun. And now we want to just stretch this out so that it's bigger than the slide, but still keeping the detail that we want. Now that we have our map image superimposed, um, it's time to draw our line. So I find the best thing to do here is to change this over to full screen so you can get a better view of what you're doing. And then we're going to go up to the insert menu. We're going to choose line. We're going to do draw with pen. We're going to go to our starting point in Fenlon Falls. Click and you're going to drag that over to our end point in Bob Cajun. And I'm just going to put it somewhere here and then double click. And that gives us our line. So obviously now the line is not following the road. But if you put your mouse over the line, you'll see that this little dot appears and you can grab that dot and you can drag it. And that gives you another dot, which you can now drag. And it just keeps on giving you more dots and you can get more and more detailed as you go along. And you can see that the line gradually starts to conform to the route that you want. I'm going to speed this up and finish this off and then I'll show you how to format the line afterwards. So 
So after you've finished uh, formatting your line, and you can go to whatever level of detail you want to as far as following the road, but bear in mind that we're gonna make this line a bit thicker when we format it, so don't go overboard with this step. And also another thing I wanna mention here is you wanna try and keep these animations as far as the view size fairly small because the bigger you try and make these maps, the, the more amount of detail you lose as far as road names and town names. So I tend to break the maps up into chunks and uh, that way it keeps the detail um, big on the screen. So now we have to format this line. So for my maps, I always go to eight point over here. I'm going with the dotted version and I am going to change the color to red. Again, you can make that as big or as small as you want, depends on your preference. I'm also going to add a endpoint arrow so that it, it starts and goes from one side to the other with the arrow. The next thing we're going to do is we have to animate this line because right now it's just a line on the slide and now we're going to animate it. We're going to add an effect. The effect is called line draw and there you go. So that's going kind of fast. Um, for a map of this size, I think probably five seconds probably works. And I always choose ease out, which causes the animation to slow down as it gets towards the end. And then you can always preview that again. So that completes this section, which is basically drawing and formatting the line. The next section we're going to go into is how to export this to a movie so that you can use it in your project. Um, whether you use iMovie, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, uh, it doesn't matter. It just outputs it as a movie. So I'm going to go over that in the next section. Now we're ready to export our project to a movie from Keynote. So we can go ahead and bring this back down to a window again. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go up to the file menu. We're gonna go to export to movie. And that brings up this little window right here. There's no real changes that have to be made here because it's only one slide. So we leave the um, setting itself playing. There's only one slide leave these two alone um, because there's no other slides. Uh, resolutions should be set to custom. 1920 by 1080 is what I use in most of my YouTube videos. 60 frames per second. There's a bunch of options here that you can choose from. I have experimented with choosing various types of these and I haven't really found a whole lot of difference in the look of the movie that it outputs other than the fact that the file sizes vary. So um, I've kind of stuck with Apple ProRes 422. That does create a fairly large file. So if that's important to you, you can actually take this down just to H.264. That creates a much smaller file. So um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it at ProRes 422. Click Next. And then it just gives you a place um, to store it. I've already got it set to default um, into the directory that I'm storing all the information for this project. And you can just give it a name, map, animation. And then you press export. It creates the movie. Now we can go take a look at it. There it is right there. So we'll just open this up in QuickTime and just let it play.
So when I made this movie up, you remember that I had it set at five seconds. It actually creates about a 12 second long movie, which I find to be fine because then you can just trim the front and the back of it when you bring it into your project. It gives you um, a bit of latitude there. So I don't find that to be a problem. So um, that's how I create those little map animations for our motorcycle videos. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it informative. And that brings another Connect Spider video to a conclusion. Thank you very much for watching.